three. Twelve minutes to seven. What were you going to say? Ta, 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 ta. Twelve minutes to seven. Three for two. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. Buy one, get one free. Bog offs. Yes. Supermarket aisles full of deals which appear to offer you more, but when yes. you look in detail. Yes, there's fresh evidence. They are not quite what they seem to be, as Steph can explain. Yes, morning to you both. Uh, this is something we've talked about quite a lot, actually, that supermarkets seem to be a bit misleading with some of the deals. Uh, morning, everyone. Yes, you might remember that this summer Tesco was fined for misleading customers over whether its strawberries were genuinely half price, and that case was over an offer in 2011. Well, now the consumer group, which has tracked the prices of around 400 products on sale at five retailers over the last, sorry, over the first six months of this year, and it found approximately 10% of the products were being sold in misleading ways. First, some multi-buys weren't quite what they seemed. Some two-for-one deals actually worked out more expensive than if you'd bought the two products separately before the offer. And there were problems with discounts too, where some products would be increased in price just before they were then discounted. So it looked like you were getting a better deal. Well, let's talk to Phil Dorrell, a retail analyst and former Asda executive. Good morning to you, Phil. Good morning. Um, this isn't the first time we've talked about this. How are they able to get away with it? Um, well, I'm not sure they're getting away with it. They are, they've been found out on this occasion. I mean, some of this is genuine error, and some of this is uh, they're playing a bit loose and free with some of their pricing policies. Um, intrinsically, the, the OFT need to be far sharper with some of the uh, regulation that they're instigating. And if we're, when we're talking about the supermarkets, some of them have come back and said to us, uh, the supermarkets disagree with the findings. Others say, as you mentioned, it was human error. But, but is it fair to say that human error? I think that the buyers look after a vast range of products and undoubtedly one or two going through you could say absolutely is human error. But 10%, actually 10% of a small band is, is probably unacceptable and this is where the OFT needs to step in and say actually you're playing fast and loose with some of your pricing structures. You really need to be less misleading about some of the offers that you're doing. In terms of the punishment, Tesco has been fined for that strawberry yeah. incident. But really, there isn't any punishment for this other than them being exposed by the media. No, absolutely. I mean, local trading standards will take very small prosecutions at times uh, against supermarkets. Uh, but in comparison to the uh, loss of their revenue and the massive amounts of profits these guys are making, uh, there's very little punishment on, on offer at present. Do we see it affect sales much? Uh, well, I think promotions affect sales massively. I mean, some, something like over 20% of uh, goods going through the basket are currently on promotion. Um, do, uh, when negative press like this happens, does it affect sales? Yes, it probably does. Although you have to say that because everyone is implicated, who's it going to affect and benefit? Mm. And do you think customers now will be um, less trusting of the offers they see? Do you think we are becoming more skeptical? I think they sh will be, and I think they should be. I think people need to look really be, uh, into the detail of what the deals are. Yeah, OK, Phil. Well, uh, thank you very much for your time this morning on that. Uh, I'll be back a bit later on. Lovely, Steph. Thanks very much indeed.